Well, hey everybody, it's 3 p.m. and it's time for Breaking Bread with Nanny Bubby. I'm Nanny Bubby, this is my kitchen, and this is my very special guest, Lauren Westerfield. Nice to see you. Good to see you. I'm so happy you're here. Well, I've known this child since she was five years old from kindergarten, and um, I call her the artichoke queen. And speaking of artichoke, Queens, I want to again always mention how grateful I am that um, Melissa Produce always sponsors both our social media and streaming, also our new sponsor of KLAS. You can see their logo on the screen and I'm telling you if you want great artichokes, Melissa's is the way to go. Yeah, just look at this. You can yes. see a tight shot of those artichokes. Beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I don't think you're on. You don't think I'm on? Yep, I think we're on, Harmony. Don't worry, it says on. Just keep, keep refreshing and you'll find us. Let me see if I can refresh. So everybody always double checks to make sure that we're live and on. So let me do that. Um, let's see. Yep, we're on. Okay. All right. So we'll check since I did look and see if anybody is there yet. Yep. Okay. We are. There we go. Okay. There we are. All right. So, nobody is, well, it doesn't, you know what's funny is that it doesn't show me who's actually here until we get way into it. Okay. Um, so, we'll check back. Surprise so, guests. Yeah, so we can see all of you and say hello. But I want to first say and remind all of you, I know I have to hawk this, but uh, the shop is open, as you can see. And what is really great is that it is a 25% off pre-holiday sale on Amazing. everything on the shop. As you can see, here's just another I love that fabulous logo. I know. It's amazing. And because you are here to be my guest, here is your I own Nanny Bubby spatula. In pink, my favorite. Yes. Thank and you. I will tell you, let me stir this because we're not only making artichokes, but we're going to show you how to make a great risotto. So you guys should start the kitchen burn. right now. It is okay. The let me, I've got to add the broth. Otherwise, it'll burn. And then I'll get right back to everybody. In fact, let me hit this camera three over here. Let me get rid of the... There we go. Whoop. All right, here I am. We're going to add a couple of ladles of the broth. Hi, everybody. Bye, Harmony. See you soon. Everybody's checking. Um, and uh, I'll show you a tight shot of this in just a minute. But this is the risotto. In fact, let me take this just over here for you to see. And I'll finish giving Lauren her special gifts. But that's the hot so broth. You always want to make your broth hot. And then there's the risotto and you fill it up and you go very slow and then you um, keep turning it and stirring it. There we go. All right. And so that is I'm going to turn the broth down. I mean, it's just crazy. Sometimes I don't know how I do it all, but I do. Okay. So back over here. So Lauren, not only did we get you a spatula, but these are your affirmation cards. Thank you. I From, love this. I always give every special guest in my kitchen the affirmation cards, the spatulas, and this, your Nanny Bubby spread love. I like finally Bubby. made it. Yes, look how I nice these are packaged. They so come packaged beautifully for you. I love that. If you want it, so here, if you'd like, we'll unroll it and we'll put it on. Will you crown me? I will crown you, <laughs> queen of the artichokes. <laughs> well, I actually have Step to into say, the camera a little here we closer go. over there, yeah. I have to say my mom, mm -hmm. Judy, is the original queen of artichokes. So I'll take either the princess or the duchess of artichokes. Definitely. She's the one who taught me. You can be the duchess for sure. Yes. Okay. We're going to give this a stir and let's look and see if we can see who is here. And we'll come right back over here and let's see. Let me see if I can look and see who is actually here. And not yet. So we're just going to proceed because sometimes it's better. There we go. All right, let's see who's here. We can't see. It's just, the, there we go. Four people are here. As you can see, there's a four, but we can't. Oh, there we go. Devin is here. Hey, ah! Devin. Hi, Hi Devin. And Teresa is here. Devin is here. Um, and a few other people. So at least we now, um, Teresa says hi there. So, so great to see you. So again, Lauren Westerfield is the queen of artichokes. Come uh, slip in closer yes. here. And uh, we are going to show you, she, everybody raves about her artichokes. And you might remember, if you saw the story that I put up, 
That was a picture of Lauren and me during COVID where we did a Zoom and we made artichokes together on Zoom. And so we are definitely ready to do it live and in person. She yes. hasn't seen Nanny Bubby's new kitchen, so. Which is gorgeous. Yes, okay. You, know you all see it every week, but it is even more stunning in person. Oh, okay. Thank you. I love it. I'm so happy with it. I think everybody knows that. Um, Devin is giving us hearts and definitely ask your questions because we are seeing, you know, sometimes I don't see, so we do. So let me just stir, stir the risotto and I want everybody to see that and then we're going to start making the artichokes. So here we go. Okay. Mm. So what you do is you go really slow and you just add enough broth and then you let it absorb into the aborio rice, which is a, 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 an Italian rice. It's actually really a rice. It's just a form yep. of rice, right? And then um, you don't want it to burn, but you want to put enough liquid in. So, And this is bu burning on the bottom. So when it starts to stick, it really is a sign that you need to... Um, lower the heat. Yeah, lower your heat. <laughs> what do you have in the broth? What kind of so broth is So this it? is... So normally I would use the homemade chicken broth. Okay. Um, but Harmony is vegetarian, and so I'm always very careful... Um, actually, I was starting to pull the chicken broth out of the freezer and said, what am I doing? I never do that because, you know, Harmony will not eat what we're eating for dinner, which is the um, short, rib. short ribs, which is just a fabulous dish. Honestly, I'm so proud of my short ribs. And so I have to always have stuff for her that will, you know, she can eat while we are eating the short ribs. One of these days, she might surprise us. Okay. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Okay. Are you ready? Back on to camera one, our Melissa's Cheers. logo. Thank you again to Melissa Foods. And let's uh, make a toast and to you and your artichokes thank and to your you. mom's recipe. And to everybody who's watching, always thank you for being so loyal. And thank lachayim. you so much. And to you. Mmm. That's good. We're also having a throwdown. As most of you know, I believe that every time a recipe calls for white wine, yes, <laughs> I don't want to waste an entire bottle of white wine. I, I just, it drives me crazy to open a bottle of white wine for a quarter of a cup and then you're left with that bottle and you're forced to drink it. And I do mean that because we really don't drink on, on weeknights. Um, we only drink when we celebrate, basically. Um, or and you don't want it to spoil. Yeah, or right, oxidize. you don't want it to spoil. Yes. And or when Tom's really stressed, we'll, we'll drink more than just a quarter <laughs> of a cup, I can tell you. But anyway, um, at the end of the day, as you know, if you replace in that recipe a dry vermouth, and honestly, I've gotten to the point where every time it calls for white wine, I regardless always use because it is so rich and there's so much depth in it. So with that being said, my darling, take it away. All right. I may turn my back to you for just a minute. I'm going to put us in picture in picture. That's perfect. Which is a tight shot here, and we're up in the upper right-hand corner, so Got you it. can hello. wave and say hello, and um, let's get started. Great. So these are braised artichokes. So artichokes are my favorite favorite thing. You can have them for dinner. You can have them as a side dish. You can have them as an appetizer. And there's multiple ways that you can actually prepare the artichoke. Um, steamed is really the easiest and the most basic. You can't screw it up. It's delicious. But today I really wanted to focus on the braised artichoke, which is so unctuous with flavor. Oh, I love it that. is just so like the profile, it's complex and it's perfect on kind of a fall day or a winter day and it will make your whole entire kitchen smell so great. So I love that. And I, I just have to repeat this because it's yeah. so funny. For those of you who are watching, you see that Tom commented, Tom said, we only drink when we're awake. <laughs> <laughs> that it, very That's such a Tom of Tisha, right? <laughs> and uh, Cheryl Downey is here. Hello, Cheryl. Yeah. And um, uh, Teresa said great tip about the vermouth, but I think I think Teresa has definitely heard me say that before. Okay, next step. Perfect. So the worst step of it all is actually cleaning the artichoke and getting it prepared. This recipe actually calls for having them so it's going to be a little bit more complex than if you were just doing a steamed artichoke I'll walk you through it okay. but so you are going to take it with one hand get a serrated knife and first you're going to saw off the top and artichokes are actually a thorn so they are prickly um, 
sometimes if you are a little bit more sensitive and tender, you may want to wear a glove. I just kind of hope and pray that it doesn't prick me. So the top is off just like this. And then you go around and take kitchen scissors and you just top those little prickly things off. I like I to hold that. it by the stem. Yeah. It's pretty easy. The little ones on the bottom, I don't worry so much about because they will either what kind of you, shrivel. What do you do if you ever see a, like a bad leaf in there? Like, you know, something that's brown and just kind of looks like it, you know, the heat got the best of it and shipping. Yep. What are you doing in that? So case? if it's completely brown, I just kind of try to peel it off if it's towards the bottom. Uh -huh. If not, because truly you're only really eating the very base mm -hmm. of the artichoke. So I wouldn't worry if it gets a little oxidized up here. It's the meat right down here that you are going to want to pay attention to. And if it's still brown, then I would not touch it. So mm -hmm. then you're going to want to just cut off the stalk put that away. Now you're going to put it face down. So the chop part down, you're going to hold it with one hand and then you're going to saw it in half. And you always start from the base. Correct. Because it's the, it's the most sturdy, right? So you can hold it and control it. And then once it cuts down, it's a little you bit also easier. are sure you're right through the middle. That correct. Way. Yeah, correct. So, I think when I did it, I actually went like the other way. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did, and I, I was like, gee, these, these were not, tough. yeah, these were not even. I was like, oh, that's, that's not good. This is just not even. I wasn't happy with that. So now this is the least pleasant part of it. I, you could cook them with this in. I would highly recommend and against it. when you say it. this, what exactly it's is this? It's the actual hairy little to? thistle, like the actual yeah. interior. So this right here is called the heart of the mm -hmm. artichoke and that is like the filet. So that's the best part. But you want to clean this up so you're not eating and getting the little artichoke thistle hairs. So in. one thing that I did, and I wanna ask you if sure. you think you'd like to do this, is I used a grapefruit spoon to kind of scoop it out. Okay. What do you think? You could do that. Um, I it, Sometimes it's a little bit harder, so then I'll just cut a little smiley here. face right here. Here, just kind of turn that towards the camera so they can see. Boop. You're going Which right. Way? This way. Yeah, okay. yeah you got it. <laughs> um, so in a smiley face, and then you just kind of pop out the hairs. See, it came out pretty easily, but these little interior, th um, oops, sorry guys. These little purple things, they get really prickly, but if you kind of take it and pull, you can clean it all out here. So make sure that you get those little, they almost look like endive leaves. See, now all the hair, which way, this way. So all the hair is gone, the interior is cleaned. If you want to prepare these well before your meal time, I would highly suggest putting lemon on it and putting it in a bag, in a storage bag in the fridge so okay, they don't wait brown. Wait a minute, let's say that again. So what, what and you're saying put a lemon on it, do you mean squeeze lemon squeeze juice into lemon it? Squeeze lemon juice so, so it, that it doesn't turn brown. Correct. That is an amazing tip. Little trade secret. Here, come, yes. ste come step closer this way. You have okay. to kind of stay center here or we'll Perfect. lose you. So then we're here, I'll bring those. Let me, let me clean this one up one more time. Megan so. Skidmore Street is here. Hey, Megan, Harmony is here. Hello, Harmony. Harmony was helping us prep. She was the best at that. She even did some dishes for me. There's 10 people here watching. Harmony I love that. is also my agent and my hype girl. So yes, I appreciate. Is. Yeah, mine too, actually. Yes. <laughs> She's got both of us. She negotiates our contract. <laughs> Oh, she might as well. She's an attorney, right? Yes. She's the best. So I actually grew up with Harmony, and Marla was like my second mom Aww. and would always, we would have spend the nights and do but, all these things. But what she wants to tell you is that I always <laughs> used to cook for them, and what? nobody wanted to eat. Poor Devin, who was watching. And honestly. Devin was one of our, yeah, and still Tim is. Yeah, and is watching. Hey, Tim, nice to see you. Thank you for being here. We're actually, I want you to know, Lauren is staying for dinner, and I am rehearsing the dinner that I'm going to make for you and Sherry and our other guests that are coming. So, hey, Tim, thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. um, and, okay, so okay. you're going to take that. So, Go now, ahead. so it's important, preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Wait a minute, Megan said, will you be sharing the recipe? And yes, as soon as we're done with this, she is gonna put, uh, we're gonna edit the show notes and put the actual recipe in. We can't edit those show notes before the way that the streaming equipment works. We can't do it before, so I'm just 
just FYI. <laughs> and this is um, a adaptation of one of Allison Roman's braised artichokes. So you can also look that up. I'll give you my version um, because it adds some other stuff, but this is what inspired this. And so now after you've cut them in half, you are going to take them and put them face down in a shallow baking dish as such. And then it calls for so I've already pre-smashed some garlic. Let's see if I can get a tight shot on that. There you Here's go. Some garlic. I will show you. You can take the knife and you just push on it, peel it real quick. See how easy that is? Done. So then you kind of place, tear the it a little bit. garlic right on top. You're placing the garlic right on top. I put some of it on top and then I'll put some of it in the baking dish. So because Maria I, is here. Maria, I love seeing Maria. I love it's Maria. Maria but, uh, yeah, Maria's here. Hi, Maria. We love Maria. Yeah. Okay. So then you sprinkle your garlic. I do about four to five cloves. I really like garlic, so. But I think that garlic is one of those, um, I, I don't want to call it an herb, but a flavor that is, is like an artichoke without garlic is like. Right. Like why, like, why even do it? Like a Sunday without ice cream. Yes, 100%. There's something about garlic, and Maria says hi. Hey, Maria. So then I take four tablespoons of butter, and I cube it, and then you put a couple of them. It's got a little bit warm, but that's okay. Um, and then you'll just kind of distribute it throughout the baking dish. Okay. And now... You're going to take olive oil and then you're just going to generously drizzle it over each of the artichokes and kind of in the bottom of the pan. So let's show, can we sure. maybe um, tip that? I just want to, so she drizzled it, but it it's not like too heavy. So I think I'm guilty of maybe going too heavy. Um, and But it's really just, it's not over every leaf. It's just gently over maybe back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Right. I mean, this is, you can be the artist of your own canvas in this, but really the intent is to kind of just wet the bottom of the pan and ensure that these um, leaves actually kind of absorb some of the moisture. But then we're going to add some more liquids into it. So, um, And before we do that, yes. um, Harmony said Lauren should be a recurring guest. I like that idea. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to. She's our agent. I mean, we, I know. Should, we should both listen to Artichokes that. Artichokes in 300 and six, wait, how many shows do you do about a year? Uh, well, I mean, and well, it's not COVID anymore. I was doing every day during COVID, okay. right? Because there was not much else to do. But all of a sudden, when life picked back up, um, you know, how could I do every day? It was impossible. I might have to find a new shtick than just artichokes if I'm a recurring okay, guest. Hey, that's fine with me. Okay, hold on just okay. a minute. And Perfect. let's go back over here to camera three, Perfect. if you will. And um, let's talk about where we're new at composites. with the... Um, with the risotto. So there's Lauren over, all the way over there. If you can see in there, all of that has absorbed, but the rice is actually not done yet. And so the key with this is that you actually, in fact, you know what, Lauren, what would be great yes. is if you can actually hold that I, camera. Sure. Over here, let me un, undo the power and just kind of lift it up and just, if you're looking at it, yeah, and just kind of, yeah, you can kind of see in there a little bit. I know it, mm -hmm. it'll give you a headache a little bit, but you're just going to add a little more broth, and then you just give it a stir, and you just wait for it to get reabsorbed, And uh, but you've just always got to check back at it. And sometimes I find that if you take your eye off of it, you really can burn it. That's good, Lauren. You can take it back. So um, how often do you, like how... How long in between each scoop do you wait? Well, so you minutes? literally oh, wait. You wait until, yeah, just turn a little t inside. Yeah, there you go. Um, you actually wait until it's all absorbed. And okay. once it's absorbed, if you let it absorb too much, it gets too dry on the bottom. And then what ends up happening is it burns on the bottom. bottom and that's what you mm -hmm. want to uh, avoid. Now, 
Truth be told, is that sometimes all the flavor gets into the brown bits, and that's why you have to really be careful because it'll start to dry, it'll start to stick. Okay, that's great. But you don't want it gummy, right? Like that's what you're trying to avoid. Well, you don't want it to actually burn, but you can mm -hmm. see if you look here, there's that a little bit so of brown bits down there, kind yes. of stuck, but over time, as long as you're constantly watching this, you will, um, uh, you will get flavor and not burnt. The so, aromatics of this, like you can smell the umami the of the yeah, umami. Of those I, beautiful. You know, can you explain? Mushrooms. Let's go back over here. Can okay. you explain umami flavor? Because I have read over and over and over about. Um, uh, Devin said I second that. Maybe about you being a recurring guest. That's good. Okay. I love that. She's our second agent. Um, explain umami flavor. Because I've read about it. They say mushrooms are umami. It's just a flavor that you. I crave, but I don't think I've ever craved a mushroom. No, it's, it almost, I think it's like a support, like a guest star for the, the supporting actress, right? So <laughs> it is there to augment the flavors uh -huh. and it kind of heightens that complexity. So it just adds an extra layer of depth. It's uh -huh. like icing a cake. You know, I it, it just, cake. you add to the, the natural flavors of what you're right. utilizing with. So what, what is in this dish do you feel is umami with the artichokes? Is there something that you add that has a umami flavor? I think the wine or the vermouth that we're going to really, yes. that's what adds this kind of extra yes. umph to it. Yes, it is the it. depth, but also, believe it or not, so in the world of salt, fat, and acid, mm -hmm. right, which the tongue crave salt fat and acid um, that and I think that's actually what it is so wine is considered acid yes right yes but but the vermouth has a depth to it that actually is the umami okay because that makes smell sense it. just smell honestly smell this mm-hmm you can definitely Right? Yes. As opposed to sm smell your glass of wine. I hear this boiling, so I gotta go jump over here just real quickly. And then we're gonna let you go back to Finish. the. Um, here we go. So, the as Nanny Bubby inferred in the beginning of the show, we have a head to head matchup. So, there's some artichokes already in the oven, and. Which we're gonna show you. I usually utilize white wine. So it's a cup of white wine. I poured that with this, but what we're preparing with you today is with vermouth. So then we can side by side taste test and just be able to like describe the differences. But and we I, should, I will, we'll post when we eat. So Lauren's staying for dinner tonight. That's why we're making the risotto and the short ribs. Yes. Um, and to celebrate, um, kids are coming. So Shabbat is almost here. And we, it's my a, first Shabbat too. It's your first Shabbat. That's I so love great. that. Um, the kids uh, are jokesters, but um, so uh, is this the... That's water. That's so, water, okay. So what you do is you take, I have these cute little measuring cups that I love from Anthropology, and they have like little, oh, happy day, and just different really nice things. So this is what I use as a measuring cup, but it's a cup. So one <laughs> cup of water. Okay. Just kind of pour Over it the around. Top. Yeah. And then... You are going to add, will you pour one cup for me of the vermouth or wine? I'm sure you could use sherry. It might be a little bit well, I think overwhelming. Sherry would, I think sherry would be too sweet. Yeah. I really do. So one cup, and then you just go ahead and distribute it here. So the reason why we're adding all of this liquid to these is because once it goes in the oven, a lot of these juices will cook off. And because the artichokes are thistles, because they have that thick base, they absorb that flavor. So the flavor Do you want is to really define thistle? Cooking. Thistle, like a... I, I remember asking you this last time we did it. I was like, what the heck is a thistle? So a thistle is like a, a prickly flower, I guess you could say, okay. right? So it grows from a stalk, which is why... Is a rose bush a, a thistle? It's a bushel. Ah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll ask Tom. Yes, he's an expert on oh, rose bushes. Yes. Oh, poor Tom. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to add. I love red pepper flake. I use it, and I use it judiciously. Um, 
because you have the wine in here, it really kind of takes away from real spicy. But if you want to not use it, totally fine. And then salt. So just sprinkle some salt over it. Boom, 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 boom. These are such cute little receptacles. Thank you. Target from... Um, oh, Magnolia Home? Yeah. Love it. And pepper. Boop, boop, boop. Because they say salt. Can you see that? Let me. Salt. Can you see it? Salt. And it says pepper on the other one. There you go. So another thing you can add if you want to um, is lemon juice, lemon, whatever you want to add to kind of make that flavor. But this is just the base level, which I think I have you... fresh squeezed lemon juice. Do you want some? Yeah, let's yeah, try it okay. with this. Stand by, talk to everybody. We're um, gone. And then with... The way you can serve this, because it is in these juices, you can even dip the juices. You could make an au jus with it. Or what I like to serve it with is a lemon aioli. Um, so my mom has turned me on to the Kewpie mayo, which is the yeah, tell us Japanese mayo. And it has a little bit more of a sweet, tangy texture to it. So tastes a little bit more on the Miracle Whip side of things. But with, again, word of the day, umami. Um, so I add that, zest the lemon, and put some lemon juice in it, whip it up. Little bit of garlic and a little bit of uh, Worcestershire, I can't say it, Worcestershire, um, say that 22 times, and, <laughs> and then whip it up, and you dip it in, and it's perfect. So Dana Gentry's here. Hey, Dana. I love it when you pop in. Do you know Dana? Yes. Oh. Yes, yes. Okay. Did she pop in for you, or did she pop in for me? Tell us, Dana, for free. both of us or one of us, or did you just interested in artichokes? I mean, who wouldn't be interested <laughs> in artichokes? So now this is ready to go in the oven. Again, remember, 425 degrees preheated oven. You are going to first cover it. We have parchment paper and foil. So for 45 minutes, you're going to cook it cover on. So wrap it nice and tight so it can heat up and those juices can bubble. It can get really pretty. Um, and then the last 10 to 15 minutes, you have to keep an eye on it. You take the foil off and that's when the artichoke gets a little bit brown and it really starts to cook off those, those juices. You should still have a base of a little bit of juice because remember you want to dip it in it or really sit um, and then I like to let my artichoke sit for about 15-20 minutes. You can leave it in, in preheat whatever you want um, just to really kind of absorb those juices. And again, everything will smell so good. Okay, so, so are you going to show us how to make the aioli too? Yes, but I forgot my ingredients. So oh, you did? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, I, I will include it in the um, show notes. In the show notes. And okay. then I can do a little so bit So let's go over to this other camera and let's show them what's inside the oven. Yes. So, okay, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. This, I am ha having a hard time with this Looking risotto right because it just keeps cooking and... Um, I can open and take it or... Is that is the camera on there? I love yes. those French oven doors. Careful. So perfect. Don't fall in. I know. <laughs> so Do you want me to open it up, bring it out a little bit? It's okay. I have an oven mitt. There we so go. So see, that's kind of what I love that we can literally like. put this camera right into look on there. Let's see if they can see. Yeah. This camera is right in the oven. Can you believe this? I can't I believe love that. that. It's, doesn't that look great? It's beautiful too. I know. I, I now, just do think you have chips or so. They are Should beautiful. Should I shimmy it so I can put these yes. guys in? Okay. Yes. Hold on just a minute. Let me bring this back. Yep. And when you say shimmy it, what does that mean? I'm just going to. No, 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 no. Oh, we're going to put it in a separate. Yeah, step back. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you want to, what is it, what do you want to shimmy? We just need to put it lengthwise. Oh, yeah. So we can fit this other. Oh. Yeah. So these artichokes have been in for about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so it needs to do a little more cooking. I'm going to cover it a little more, which is fine. Be careful, honey. Let me pull burn. it out. I don't want you to burn Maybe yourself. You know, the last time I got a bad burn, I got to tell you, this is the truth. Those are the worst. I got a really, really bad burn on my arm. I still have a, a scar it's from a it. But didn't arm. you come for Hanukkah one year? Yes. I, I burnt my arm on the oven that night. Oh my and gosh. it is the worst burn I ever had. Okay. She's never been for Shabbat, but she's been for Hanukkah. Okay, there we go. And we would play dreidel and it was yeah, so fun. we had a good time. 
There we go. Perfect. All right, let's come back. Okay. Um, okay, so that's it. That's that it. That was fast. That's you it want, for my so let, let me ask you this because we're eating about 5, 5.30, between mm -hmm. 5 and 5.30. Do you, like, how would you, we're cooking these very early because right now it's 3.30. Right. So, so how, what are your thoughts on the pre-cook? Because we don't want them to be dried out. What would you do at this point? So you're pre-cooking that one. Right. Would we take it out and then put it back in the oven when we're closer to dinner? I would suggest okay. that. Um, but what I would do if you're creating a full meal that needs to be timed with different times yeah um i would suggest getting it already covering it up and not putting it in the oven until it's ready to go until like if you're 15 minutes 10 minutes yes just warming it back up yes or i have a, a warmer and you, you can keep it in there and it's fine okay. because it'll just absorb those juices and it's yeah. it's great okay and then maybe squeeze a little lemon before you serve it just to kind of re give the acid yep. yeah and we're just i think we're going to put one on a, a, a plate even mm. though the plates are there now i put the plates there to make them look pretty but we will um uh put one on everybody's plate and s serve it to them and have a great dinner yes yes any f any closing thoughts while my uh, risotto is burning hold on <laughs> you don't want that i would say Usually the, the biggest comment I get on artichokes is how do I even tackle this? Because it looks a lot scarier than it is. Mm -hmm. Really the preparation and the trimming it and the cleaning it is the most daunting task. Once you get that down, it's so much easier. Um, artichokes can be consumed. Like I said, you can have it steamed and that's super yeah, easy. Super easy. And it's great. And it's a, it's a very filling, hearty vegetable or side dish um you can have it as a meal you can do stuffed artichokes which are so good and they are so bad for you but. and you know what here's some pictures actually that we want to show so this is what yeah. that looked like prior to going into the oven yes so that was the version with the white wine which is why it looks a little bit more golden yellow yes than the vermouth version uh -huh. so i think we should after we're done we when we have a taste off we should post the results yeah or we could just go live different. but i don't think we can go live because uh, because we're serving a big dinner i got to put this equipment away and believe me there's a hell of a lot of equipment here right can yes. you believe this it? is <laughs> it's showbiz babe. i was i was <laughs> setting it up because that's a lot of stuff <laughs> Marla. i was not ready for this i posted it behind the scenes on my instagram oh did you yes oh, okay. that's just cute. so everyone can see oh but. can i repost it um, of course oh okay of course did you tag me of course i don't even know what that means but i, I, I did it all i, I did it all. Okay, and then this is what it will look like when we eat it. Yes. So I just don't be afraid of artichokes. They're in season right now. So there are different types. So the globe artichokes, it looks like, is kind of what we got. But there are some big ones. Those can tend to be a little bit more tough. So you just, you have to have the patience and you have to have the understanding. The larger ones, you have to utilize more oil and probably give it a little bit more cooking time so you don't have that really fibrous kind of feel. Um, but sometimes you just get a bad egg and you you just have to commit to trying again next time. Yeah, and there you go. I yes. mean, literally, I have, um, I know Teresa was here the night I made like 60 meatballs for the show and I got them all made and ready to go and I looked down and realized I forgot to put the garlic in them as when I was mixing it. I literally had to throw all cry. the meatballs, I did cry. I had to put all the meatballs back in and put the garlic in and remake every single meatball and I was dreading it, but they didn't have to stick around to watch it. So that's it. So on the count of three, do you know what we always say? Spread love like butter. Yes. Okay. Thank you everybody for joining. Oh, just want to remind you, it's a 25% off pre-holiday sale. Mm -hmm. Go to nannybubby.com slash shop. You can have one of these. Yes, you can get your uh, pink spatula, which mm -hmm. you saw me using over here. Let me grab it for the risotto, your affirmation cards, and your spread love like butter. Not just for you, but for everybody on your holiday list that you truly love. You can buy the bundle. You can buy just each one individually. Make your list. Sale ends in 60 days, which at this point would be November 1. Mm -hmm. uh, we started the sale on September 1. So uh, just go to nannybubby.com or go on Instagram up to the... Um, uh, shop. 
yeah, up to the shop. And Dana said, uh, your kitchen looks beautiful. Did you renovate? Yes, we did. Harmony answered the question. Thanks, Harmony. I saw Harmony answering, but I didn't see the question. Our agent is the best. Yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just because we have another graphic and I really like it, there it is again. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. On the count of three, one, two, three, go out and... Spread love, love like, like butter. butter. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Bye, guys. I guess Lauren's coming back by popular demand. Bye, everybody. Bye.